suppose the inspiration in the last um, number of years, um, I'd say the last five, six years, has, has, has been engaging with the landscape and, and, and just connecting with, with the land through, through its geology, through its bedrock, through its um, natural history in some ways. And especially through within Scotland, because it's uh, you know, one of the oldest histories really of the world in terms of its geology. And that's basically been a key theme initially through sculpture, then through a series of uh, model paintings, and now more recently through a series of drawings. A few years ago I was working a piece of, piece of artwork that was um, really about, about life and, and really connecting with the landscape. And this piece of sculpture lasted for um, one day. It was made, it lived for one day, and then it was burnt. And then the charcoal that was created was then used to create a series of drawings, a memory of that uh, sculpture and that sculpture in its landscape. And there was something about memory that really started to, to pull me in, I think even more so into the landscape. My, my approach at the moment is very much about um, using the materials of the landscape to record that landscape and that harks back to that um, the idea of working with a memory in some ways and and although my works are um, very much about spaces i visited and experienced so i have that uh, that memory of the environment through through walking and climbing in those environments um, as well as, as documentary evidence of photographs I might bring back a series of um, stones and rocks from each of the environments that I visit and they often get used and incorporated um, to help build, build the work and create the work and for me therefore there's this, this natural connection with the physical environment that I've just been to. I suppose uh, kind of my method and my process is, is really trying to almost almost a, a hand on the rock, feeling the rock, feeling that landscape. And often when I'm out walking, touch is just as important as seeing, um, feeling the different types of, uh, of, of geology that, uh, that exists and, and, and the, the smoothness of, of, of some rocks, of some smooth granite that's been washed around in the, in the rivers. Um, against really sharp stones and, and stones covered in mosses and lichens. And I think that touch is in essence I'm trying to convey in the, in the surface of the, of the drawings. I call them drawings, it's partly paint in them, but I, I still call them, it's called them drawings. And I think the approach that I'm working with is, is all about this, um, this surface tension and texture really in some ways. And, and this, is created through a lot of happy accidents, should we say, a lot of uh, serendipity, a little bit of, of splattering paint onto the onto the paper, using a combination of um, water-based material and oil-based materials, which naturally don't mix. And, but there's something really nice that happens when you do start to lay um, a water-based material over the top of an oil-based material. That it um, holds into a water droplet on top on top of the oil and uh, it finds its own space on that surface and in some ways it's these smaller more microcosmic little uh, incidents that help to build make the whole. What I think also again is about this, this, this memory and using the landscape and um, using rocks and, and boulders and stones to, to act as a, as a tool to scrape, to scratch, to score the um, painting the, the, the paintings, the drawings, um, when they're created. Just as glaciers did 10,000 years ago around the UK, um, you know, scratching out, scraping out these um, glaciated valleys. I am I am obsessed with the landscape. Um, why am I obsessed with the landscape? Um, it's, a, it's a connecting space. It's a space um, that that I think we're all intrinsically connected with, that uh, we feel, you know, this, for me it's about, about it's a powering space, this dominant environment, um, that's such a, a, a small um, entity within this space, and just get overwhelmed by the, the sheer power and size of the environment, and, 
and trying to capture an essence, I suppose, of that environment is what I'm trying to work towards.